Okay, so thank you everyone for being here today. We are very excited to have you here and we are very excited to have a new episode of our Global Employability Expert Series. So, okay, so um, a little bit of how uh, the webinar works. We are recording this so you can watch it later on. And if you haven't watched our previous episodes, you can go um, and find our uh, list in YouTube, so you can also subscribe there to, to see uh, our new webinars. Um, you can ask questions, you have the Q&A uh, function activated and you can ask questions during um, the presentation. We will dedicate 10 minutes after we finish to answer them. Um, and what kind of questions you can make? Well, uh, great questions are those related to intercoaching in general, right? If you have a specific question about coaching, then um, you can send us an email. And if you have any other question regarding your program or specifics about your situation in the program, then you can just um, reach out to your IEM and ask there, okay? So we have a very interesting topic today, which is intern coaching, right? And we're going to discover how taking your intern coaching call can boost your internship experience. So without further ado, let's start with our presentation today. So I found this really interesting quote uh, from Steve Jobs. He said, the most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. And so I found this interesting and I asked, that got me thinking, okay, but um, what does a storyteller do, right? And well, the storyteller turns experiences into great, powerful stories that impact an audience. And if we think about you, how can you turn this internship experience into a great story that is going to make you stand out, for instance, in your next job interview? Um, well, first of all, you need to understand why your internship experience is valuable, right? You are living a unique experience that is allowing you to learn industry knowledge, um, develop amazing skills, connect with people, have more clarity about what you want to do in the future, just to mention some of the things you're getting out of this internship. So in this webinar, we will explore how taking a coaching call can boost your overall internship experience, can help you understand the value of your internship, and can help you articulate a powerful story that will contribute towards your future success. Okay, so without further ado, let's meet our speakers for the day. Um, let's start with me, yeah. Uh, okay, so my name is Mirta, I'm Mirta Aguirre. I'm the head of employability and I'm also an intern coach. And I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina, where I am based. So a little bit about me, so you know me, um, well, I'm very curious. Um, I love discovering new places and meeting new people. And that is why I love speaking foreign languages. I speak Spanish, my native language, English, Portuguese, French, some German, um, probably some other in the future. Um, and of course, I love traveling. I have lived in different countries in uh, Europe and in Latin America. And I'm really into learning and sharing my experiences. That is why I'm always learning something new. I have a bachelor in international relations and a specialization in NGO management and a master of arts in education and international development from UCL in the UK. I'm a certified coach and I'm really addicted to learning and sharing all that. So I enjoy a lot uh, what I do. So, well, let's meet Sophie. Yeah, thanks, Meta. So hi, everyone. Um, as you can see, I am one of the intern coaches here at Virtual Internships. I've been doing this role for over a year, and so I've been lucky enough to connect with hundreds of interns from different corners of the world. Uh, as you can see, I'm in Manchester right now, which is where I'm originally from. Uh, but I have been working in international education for the past seven years. And that took me overseas. So I mostly worked in Vietnam and in Singapore. Um, but yeah, a bit more about me. I just love having new experiences. So when I was at university, I was in the skydiving society. I love scuba diving and I've done motorbike trips through various different countries because I just love to travel. And yeah, I really like connecting with 
people from different cultures and different backgrounds and hearing their stories. And so I'm really looking forward to getting to meet some of you during the coaching calls. Nice. Let's meet Sierra. Hi guys, my name is Sierra. And as you can see, I am a program alumni and also an intern experience manager here. I've been on the job for about three months now, so I'm fairly new, but I'm loving the new work and everything here is so much fun. I just recently graduated from a university in my home state of Oregon, and I also majored in international relations, similar to Mirta, and I would love to go to graduate school someday, but not sure what I wanna do yet. Um, I've also traveled quite a bit. I started when I was 18, so I've been to Southeast Asia, I've traveled South America, and I just love learning new languages. I also speak um, semi-fluent Spanish and Korean as well. So yeah, that's another one of my passions and I'm really looking forward to this call today. Yeah, well, as you can see, we are really passionate about learning, discovering, traveling, international education. Uh, so we are really uh, happy to have you here uh, and exchange with you. So, okay, so let's jump into our topic today. Okay, what is coaching? Um, probably you have heard people talking about uh, coaching outside the context of this internship, right? But what is coaching exactly? Well, um, a coaching session is a powerful conversation that a person or a coachee has with a trained or certified coach, okay? The role of the coach is to ask powerful questions that can help the coachee have clarity on um, what they want to achieve and what the next steps to achieve these goals are, okay? Um, the coach also can help uh, discover the um, coach's limiting beliefs, which are those things, those ideas or beliefs we hold about ourselves that really um, refrain us from taking action and therefore do not allow us to grow, right? Um, so we can consult a coach whenever we want to achieve a goal, when we have a project we are undertaking and we want someone that can help us organize our ideas, create an action plan, or even help us motivate us, right? So depending on the specific area we want to work with, uh, it can be a life coach or it can be a career coach if it's, for example, that you want to uh, apply for a new job and you are a little bit lost on how to do it, or it can be a job uh, coach for any professional uh, topic in general you want to discuss. Um, important to say coaching is not therapy, so we don't deal with mental um, issues. Um, and usually coaching is more focused on the future, whereas uh, a therapist will also explore the past. Um, a coaching call outside, um, depending on where you are, it can cost 50 US, uh, 200 US American dollars. Um, so it is really something uh, to um, really take uh, the opportunity, given that you have two coaching calls included in this program, it is something super interesting, interesting to take advantage of. Um, but now that we have understood what is coaching uh, in general, let's see what coaching uh, in particular, like inter-coaching is. Yeah, thanks, Meta. So the coaching calls that you receive um, sit within this wraparound support that virtual internships offers to make sure that you do feel well supported and accompanied throughout your journey with us. And so internship coaching is just another avenue of support that you'll have as well as your supervisor at the host company and your intern experience manager, you will be assigned a coach as well. And so what is really unique about these coaching calls in particular is that they've been adapted to specifically suit the internship experience. And so we take all of those traditional elements of coaching that Mercer just mentioned, like asking powerful questions, but also our coaches will take on an advisory role as well. And so they can provide lots of great tips and advice and recommendations for you. And so these coaching calls have been designed with you in mind. And it's just a fantastic way for you to articulate your achievements and have an enriching conversation about your experience. 
And so it, the process is very reflective. It lets you pause and think, what have you achieved so far? And also thinking, what other skills do you want to keep developing? And so you get this kind of bigger picture uh, perspective. And so we help you and guide you in setting goals and you'll come away with actionable steps that you can take. And so you'll leave hopefully feeling very empowered and motivated to take charge of your growth and professional development moving forward. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Sophie. And something that I want to um, clarify is what a coaching call is not, okay? That's super important. So a coaching call is not a conversation with your IEM. Uh, you will see that uh, your IEM is one person, uh, your coach is another person, right? It's a trained person, um, a person that was trained to have that call. So these are two different people. Also important to know, this is not a test, okay? So this is not a formal review. It's not a formal uh, interview. There is nothing for you to study. Um, you can be just uh, relaxed. Um, we do ask you to complete uh, some assessment before uh, the coaching call because that will help uh, the coach um, um, explore even better. Uh, and you can, of course, um, you are expected to complete your weekly checkpoints, which are part of your program, but there's not a formal um, preparation, okay? So you can just jump into your uh, coaching call. Um, this is a confidential talk, okay? So we are not sharing this with, with your supervisor or anyone. This is just uh, between your coach and you. Um, and this is not about telling you someone, um, it's not about someone telling you what to do or about giving you specific industry advice, but it's rather about you co-creating an action plan with someone who can guide you and give you uh, general career advice, okay? And so uh, let's explore a little bit what the difference is between uh, a coach and I am is. Uh, so we are uh, clear about this, right? So Sophie, um, what does a coach exactly? Yeah, so um, as a coach, our role really is to help you find this value, value in your internship experience. And as we said earlier, helping you have that bigger picture and thinking how this experience fits into those wider goals you have, thinking of the career management side of things. And it's just helping you to have this like self-awareness. And so that you do have this clear plan of how you want to move forward in your own personal growth. And so for the more day-to-day -day issues, like anything urgent or pressing, your IEM is really the best source of support for those matters. And so I'll let Sierra take over from there as she is one of our intern experience managers. Yeah, thanks, Sophie. So basically, yes, I am the IEM and I deal more with troubleshooting the day-to-day -day issues. For example, if you haven't heard from your supervisor in a few days, or if you're having trouble with certain projects that aren't aligning with your goals, or you're having bad communication, it's really important to bring this up with me right away instead of bringing it up during your coaching call with Sophie, because any of the coaches that we have, because with your coach, you want to be focusing more on the broader picture. And with me, we're going to focus on this day-to-day -day troubleshooting issues. So. That's why it's really important to always be in communication with me daily. Yeah, definitely. Um, you want to really take advantage of your coaching call. So every practical um, doubt you may have, then reach out to your IEM and really leave like the um, bigger picture stuff for the coaching call, definitely. Okay, so now we have more information about what the coaching call is about. Let's explore a little bit. Okay, what happens during the coaching call? Um, well, you see in the picture there are cookies. We don't have cookies for coaching calls because we're far away. <laughs> but probably if, if we were in the same room, we could be having some cookies because this is a relaxed um, environment, right? The, the idea is to have a relaxed and a stimulating conversation uh, that is of use for you right, that you say, okay, this was interesting, uh, this was helpful, that you leave feeling that you had a 
space and moment to, to talk about you, right? You are the protagonist in this call. So the idea is really is to have a, a moment to reflect about how your internship is going, um, how you can take ownership of this internship and how you can really grow through this process, right? So we are going to uh, help you create an action plan to get wherever you wanna be during this internship. And you also have the opportunity to reflect on your career path, you know, uh, your future. Um, and also after the call, you may find uh, that the coach sends you some resources, like some interesting reading um, that you can keep on um, exploring that relates to the topic you discussed during your internship at your uh, coaching call. So that's also really interesting because after the call, your coach may say, hey, you know, I, I kept uh, thinking of what on what we discussed, and this is a really interesting read that you can have to, to, to keep on uh, reflecting more. Um, so what do we do in each call and what can we expect? What can you tell us, Sophie? Yeah, so you'll have a midpoint call and that's often the first time that you've met your coach. And so we always kick things off with just introducing ourselves so you can get to know your coach. And during the first part of that call, we will really spend time reflecting on how the internship has been going so far. So it's a chance to discuss the highlights, any challenges that you might have experienced. And so we can go through anything that might have been on your mind um, and also focusing on that skills development side of things too. And so by that point, you will have already completed some self-assessment and that covers the NACE career competencies. So we can really unpack that in more detail during our conversation. And then we will shift the focus towards the remainder of the experience and setting some intentions of what you would really like to achieve overall from your internship. And then you will be given those actionable steps again. So you, you will know exactly what it is you want to accomplish. And as Merta said, we will share some resources that will help you to attain those goals. And so the second time you get to meet your coach will be for the final coaching call. And that will be a chance to reflect on the internship experience as a whole and how it fits into your career plans. And so after that final coaching call, you will receive a global career management plan that you can see on the slides here. And it's just a really good way to break down your goals into like small, mid-term and long-term goals. So you go away with these short-term action steps that you're going to take right away. And then you'll also have that like confidence in taking charge of your own growth, even once the internship has ended. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, I've had my own personal coaching call, so I'm really I'm a fan of coaching calls. But if I were a student in this program, I'm, I could be super excited about these coaching calls. And so I could like to understand a little bit more why, if I'm a student in this program, okay, why should I take a coaching call? So Sophie, you have a lot of experience and Sierra, as we have said, Sierra is an alumna, which means she did a program with us and she liked it, she liked it so much that now she's working for us. So that speaks uh, very well of us. So they have great experiences because they have, Sophie has been working with uh, students from more than uh, a year and you have seen how many students, um, Sophie, do you know? <laughs> I, hundreds, yeah. <laughs> hundreds, so many students from all over the world, right? Um, and so you have a lot of experience. Can you share a little bit with us um, why uh, the students um, should really take advantage of this and take a coaching call? Yeah, so first of all, I just want to mention this kind of storytelling element that you referred to at the start. And so it's a really good chance for you to articulate what you've achieved. Um, and so you can share that and showcase your skills to in future, future employers on your CV and in interviews. Um, but yeah, as you said, I've worked with hundreds of students. So I've had some really wonderful conversations with people around the world. And I would say that um, most people might not have had coaching experience in the past, or maybe they're a little uncertain of what to expect 
expect, but I really think anyone can benefit from coaching, no matter what stage in your journey and career that you're in. And so I really just love to hear the positive feedback that we've had from so many of our interns. Um, a lot of them will say, thank you so much for your time. They're really grateful for that opportunity to connect. Um, and I actually recently just had one intern and she just finished her placement with a company in Singapore. And during that final coaching call, she said it had helped to give her this sense of direction. And just from the way that she was talking during the call, I could see that she was kind of growing in confidence. And so it's really just nice to see the, be the positive benefits that these calls have had. And you have that kind of feel good moment at the end that you've connected with somebody new and had this really lovely open conversation together. And so I believe that we have some testimonials from our students who've already completed their program. And so maybe on the next slide, you can see um, the first one saying, I think the coaching calls helped me reflect upon myself throughout my internship and focus on my growth. And then I feel like by having someone to talk to, I was able to sort through my thoughts a lot easier, which allow me to take a step back. And so again, that's something that really helps to give you that clarity. And it's really nice to hear these positive feedback from our um, previous participants. Um, yeah, the realization um, and understanding of the strengths and skills I possessed. Again, that's helping you like, articulate all of these things that you've achieved. And then further down, I learned that your job is what you make it and that your attitude is the most important. Be mindful of what you want out of the experience. And then another one, yeah, what actionable steps and the goals that they want to achieve, um, expressing future plans and interest to someone who can give feedback and suggestions. And again, that's what the coach is there for. They will have so much great advice for you to share. And the last one, I learned how to best frame this internship experience in future interviews. Oh, and there's one more right there at the bottom. My biggest takeaway is that this internship was a big stepping stone to prepare me for future endeavors I may take on. And so this is just a snapshot of some of the feedback that we've had, um, but it's been overwhelmingly positive. Yeah, definitely. Um, and we have a very first uh, person experience, right? Sierra, as a former um, alumna. Um, Sierra, tell us a little bit about your experience as an yeah. intern, right? Yeah, so as mentioned, I am an alumni of the program and I actually did two internships, which makes me a super alumni. Yeah. And the first one, yeah. So my chosen career path for both of the experiences was nonprofit um, management, I believe. And the first one was based in the Philippines and it was really focused on my career goal of that nonprofit work. So it was really great. Um, but the second one, however, was more of a content managing position in the UK. So this was something that was super out of my comfort zone. I'd never done anything in um, advertising or marketing or anything like that. So I was really hesitant to accept this offer at first as the company didn't necessarily fit into my career path that I had envisioned for myself. But I took a leap of faith and I accepted it and I thought maybe I can learn some new skill. And I realized I learned a lot of transferable skills and transferable skills are abilities or expertise, which may be used in a variety of roles or occupations. So like communication, problem solving, or in my case, I learned how to design websites, which is something I never would have thought I would have done. I didn't consider myself a um, creative person and I didn't know what I was doing at first, but my coach helped me to see how beneficial this new step would be for me. So when it came to my coaching call, my coach helped me define those limiting beliefs that Mirta was mentioning earlier. I was skeptical about my creative side. I always thought I wasn't creative. I kind of labeled myself as that until my coach said, look at you go though. You're doing all of these amazing things for this internship and you're really excited doing it. So I was really happy that I took that unexpected internship and the call and the call really helped me realize that I do want to work on my creative skills and I actually try to now integrate this into my work every day. 
And I think this really shows how important it is to just try new things in an internship setting because as an intern experience manager, I work directly with the students and I often hear complaints about tasks that aren't really in their comfort zone or they don't think it lines up with what they wanna do. And I kind of always try to refer them to my story and help them realize that transferable skills are always a good thing to learn and your coach can really help you discover which ones you're acquiring. So I think the coaches are able to help understand, um, help people understand their limiting beliefs because they have a fresh pair of eyes on your goals. And you've had your goals for so long, you know, it's really hard to have a new perspective, but they are trained professionals who have history in strengthening and defining people's career journeys. So it's really great to meet with them. And on top of this, it's just a great way to network with other professionals. I know all the coaches are very open-minded and they have inspiring stories as well. So you can always go ahead ask them how they got to be where they are and just have a great conversation with them. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, like you see, Sierra had a great experience, which is like the case of all our interns. Uh, but something that she said that is really interesting is like this idea of having someone with a new pair of eyes, right? Because sometimes we're so into ourselves and we say, no, I'm not good at this, I'm not good at that. And then you have someone that says, wait, uh, Pause a minute because I can see someone who can do this and this and that. And from your, what you're telling me, I can see that you have really succeeded in this um, thing you have uh, set for yourself. And sometimes one can say, oh, wait, actually, I hadn't seen it this way, right? That's the power of coaching. Um, and thanks, um, Sierra, for um, sharing a little bit about who our wonderful coaches are. So basically, our um, coaches are experienced professionals, right? Um, all of our coaches have um, their own path um, in the profession and specifically our coaches are well passionate about personal and professional development. They have been trained to have these calls and actually within our staff we have certified coaches and career counselors, um, teachers and professors who have uh, experience um, working with uh, student support, you know, so uh, we are all trained and, and we have our own personal and professional backgrounds in the area of international development and student support. Um, and they all have a really um, successful trajectory working uh, to promote goal achievement and growth in the, in the individuals they have worked with. Um, so also it is a good idea to perhaps ask your coach a little bit about uh, themselves, you know, to get the opportunity to meet the people you're actually having this call. Um, okay, so I imagine that after everything we've shared, you're desperate to know how you can book your coaching call, right? Um, and so, yes, uh, let's remember you will have two coaching calls. Let's explore a little bit how you're going to book them and what you need um, to know, okay? So you will receive an automated email. You don't need to worry about this. You will receive um, the email to book your call. Uh, it is something that may look like the email you're seeing right now. Uh, there you will find a link that says complete your assessment. This is um, depending on uh, the call you will have. This may be the midpoint assessment, which is going to reflect about um, how you're going uh, so far uh, with your skill development, and that is going to be used during your coaching call. So it is important that you complete it. And then you will have another link, okay? This other link uh, where it says book your call here will lead you to a calendar, okay? Um, this calendar is like the one you're seeing there, and you will have many different options, right? You need to book just one call, okay? Please book only one call that um, suits your time and your detail you're looking for. And also very important to be aware that the time you're seeing is your local time. Okay, you can see there it says in the calendar I'm showing you, it says Buenos Aires because the calendar will show me directly uh, my local time zone, which in this case is Buenos Aires. If you're in New York, it will show you New York. If you are in Nigeria, it will show you Nigeria, okay? Um, once you click on the time and day that suits you, you will receive an email with this confirmation, with uh, confirming your uh, book, okay? It says, okay, you have um, your call, everything is okay. Let's suppose that you have 
uh, something uh, unforeseen that happened and you need to reschedule the call. You said, okay, unfortunately I won't be able to have my call, I need to reschedule. You will, um, you are able to uh, reschedule your coaching call. You can uh, book, uh, you can look for the confirmation email you received, uh, which is um, the one you're, the second, um, the second image you're seeing on the right. And below it says, need to make any changes, then you can click and reschedule the call, okay? Um, and so the coach uh, will know that the uh, coaching call will take place at a different time and date. You can also send an email to internshipcoach at virtualinternships.com or um, you can always uh, reach out to IEM, okay? Please, if you need to reschedule, let us know so the coach doesn't wait for you and then you don't appear, right? Um, so remember, you will have two coaching calls, okay? One at the middle of your internship and one by the end. So it's at those moments where you will receive uh, this email. You will receive many emails about scheduling your coaching call, but please bear in mind that if you uh, book one call and your call is confirmed, you can just disregard the other emails, okay? We send you many emails so you don't forget about booking the calls because this is really awesome. I mean, you want to take the coaching call. Um, so, but just one um, booking one is enough. And then, um, well, being there at the time, uh, that's also very important. And um, we really encourage you to take both calls, but let's say that for any reason you couldn't attend your uh, midpoint, with which could be a shame, but let's suppose it happens, you can still um, have your final call, okay? That is very important. You can always take your final call. We hopefully expect you to take both because this is uh, for your own benefit. So it is also, it is always better if you take both. Um, so any issue, um, question about coaching calls, uh, you reach out to internship coach at virtual internship or also to your IEM. Um, remember to be in a comfortable place, okay, where you can have a nice conversation. You don't want to be, um, you know, in your living room with your family, there having dinner. Like, no, you want to be in a nice room uh, where you can relax and speak freely, okay? And so, okay, we're getting to the end of our presentation. Sophie, what else can you share with our students? Yeah, so I just think when you're going through that process of booking your call, look out for where there's a section that you can write any questions that you have. And so your coach can be sure to address those during the call. Um, but if there is anything that comes to mind that you really want to discuss, you can tell your coach at the beginning of the call. So for example, if you're really wanting to improve your time management, or communication with your supervisor or whatever it may be. And then please bring that up because your coach will have lots of great advice on all of these topics. So don't be afraid to ask. Um, and sometimes in the past, I've actually had interns ask me about my own personal experiences too. And so they might ask like, how do you find it working remotely? What do you do to set boundaries between work life and home life? And so I think it's great to come with all of these questions and just get into that habit of asking good questions and making the most out of any conversations that you do have in a professional setting. And I've also had interns asking me about my background, like when I talk about how I have worked and lived in Vietnam and Singapore, and I'm always happy to share those experiences. Um, so yeah, I just encourage you to have that casual, friendly chat with your coach, because as we said, they've all got great stories, interesting backgrounds, and so you can really learn a lot from each of them. Um, but overall, there's nothing really that you have to formally prepare. You'll have that midpoint assessment already completed by that point. And so once you've booked your call, you just click on that link, it takes you straight to the Zoom meeting and you just show up. Um, but what I would say is, is it's good to just, like Merza said, be in a quiet location and just have a thought about any questions that you might have um, that you want to mention to your coach as well. And that's a really good way to make the most out of that 30 minute time slot that you've got with them. 
Yeah, definitely. So I can go ahead and take this slide. Um, basically, coaching calls provide clarity on the value of your internship experience. And like Mirta was saying in the beginning, it allows you to create your own story out of what you have chosen to do to progress in your career path. I was able to showcase my new design skills and that was the value that I took out of my experience. And I wouldn't have known that had I not taken the coaching call. So maybe that experience wouldn't have been as powerful for me. And I actually got the job later. I started here working. So it obviously worked for me to kind of own my story and figure out how I was growing and learning. And um, yeah, it helped me basically connect all the dots. And in order to have a powerful story, you need to understand its value. So that's why it's really important you take your coaching call. Yeah, definitely. So I think you are all set to book your coaching call. Uh, not today, perhaps when your time is right. We don't know who of you uh, needs to book it today. If you don't need to book it today, then don't do it. Then just wait for your email, okay? Um, so great, okay. We'd love to hear your questions. Um, I believe we have some questions, right? We have received. Okay, Sophie, I have one practical question. How long is a coaching call? Yes, so each of the calls are 30 minutes in duration. So the midpoint call is a 30 minute call and the same for the final coaching call. And what I would say is it's really important to be punctual and so you can make the most out of that 30 minute time slot. Yeah, definitely. Punctuality is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, we have someone asking, um, what can I discuss during my coaching calls? Yeah, so these calls are really just for your benefit. And so it's almost your choice of what you want to ask and make the most of, but the coach will help to guide you through it. So again, they'll be talking about how things have gone so far, skills development, future plans, actionable steps, and all of these are, things are covered. Um, but yeah, it's, if you have any pressing questions, those can be addressed too. And so each call, from my experience, varies quite a lot depending on the individual and their needs. And so we do really tailor it to, to fit you. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I think it's really cool to, um, well, it's important, right? To take both coaching calls. Um, in our program, we have two coaching calls. Um, and I think it's, really important that you take advantage of the two we have, right? Um, fortunately, we cannot give more if you want, then uh, that's good because it means that it worked, that you're all into coaching. Okay, um, do we have any other question from the audience? Um, some people are asking how you can um, reach out to your IEM. Um, you have been uh, probably emailing uh, with someone from us, so probably chances are that is your IEM, right, Sierra? Yes, it would be the IEM. Okay, perfect. Um, what questions do we have? This is an interesting one um, about um, people who might think that coaching is just like an em empty idea. And so um, it's funny because um, a lot of people might not know what to expect if they've never had a coaching experience before. And so I would tell you to embrace the unknown if you've not done it before and really see the benefits for yourself. Um, as you saw from all of those testimonials, we've had some like really positive feedback from previous um, participants in the program. And it's really just there for your benefit. And so I would really encourage you to book those calls. Um, yeah, and see for yourself. Yeah, definitely. Um, some other questions we have. Um, does a coaching call um, help me search for a job? You know, like during the coaching call, what happens there? What do you think, Sophie? Sorry, could you say again? It, I, it just froze. During the coaching call, can the coach help me uh, find a job? 
Um, so in terms of like job searching, really what we're going to be doing is helping you to plan the steps that you need to take in, in order to succeed in your job search. And so we will help you define what it is that you're really looking for in future opportunities so you can really be focused and specific in targeting the companies that you want to apply for, the roles that you're interested in. And so we can give you this kind of generalized advice of those action steps you can take. We're always talking about networking and how that's a super important part of the job search as well. And as we said, we can share lots of resources for you. Um, but obviously we can't guarantee that you will land a job. We can just try and help set you up for success in taking that responsibility and ownership yourself. Yeah, definitely. So the coaching call is really about um, reflecting and having clarity on what we want to achieve and then say, okay, how can I do this? What um, action plan, right? So it's really preparing like the scenario. So then you can go and play it yourself, right? Because th then it's going to be you uh, actioning all these. Um, another question I have, is this coaching call provided by the host company or by virtual internships? What can you share, Sophie? Yeah, so all of our coaches are from virtual internships. And so it's separate outside of your host company. And as Murta said, it's confidential, so it's not shared with your supervisor. And that's one of the really great benefits is like we're kind of a third party, like neutral person. And so it is outside of your host company and it is run through the virtual internships part of the program. Yeah, definitely. And also um, this is a confidential talk. So even if it's for, uh, for your having this with a um, coach from virtual internships, that is something that you're going to have between uh, your coach and yourself. It's not like the coach is going to come and, and tell your IEM or, you know, this, what, what you discuss there is for your, um, for your own. So um, really it's a moment for you. Mm -hmm. um, really interesting question. What kind of questions will I be asking during the coaching call so I can prepare for it. What do you say, Sophie? Yeah, and so I, as I said earlier, you don't need to worry too much about uh, preparing answers, like it's not an interview or anything like that. Um, it's more of just like a natural flowing conversation. And so we might just ask you like how you've been feeling about your internship and getting you to reflect on the skills. And we'll just be discussing what kind of projects have you been working on? What's your relationship look like with your supervisor and how's the communication going? And so really just like unpacking all of these skills that you've been working on from the experience. Um, but it's not like a fixed thing. It just depends how the conversation flows and it's just a really nice, friendly, natural um, chat really. Sophie, let's say I'm doing my internship, right? And everything is going great. Like my supervisor is super great. My job is great. And I already know what I want to do in the next 10 years. I have everything planned out already. Do I need to see you? Why I should say, I? First of all, wonderful that you're enjoying your experience. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic to hear. But then I would also say these coaching calls are beneficial for everyone. It's not just that you book if you're really struggling or you have problems that need fixing it can be really beneficial if you're having a perfect experience as well because it can just help to give that perspective you can start thinking about this like storytelling element that we spoke of earlier and also I think it's really important to acknowledge that our professional development is an ongoing thing and so even like myself I'm always spending this time like reflecting on where I am currently now where I want to go, what I want to achieve. And so your coach can really help with that, even if you're having a very positive experience. Okay, and, and just to make sure, yeah, sorry. I wanted to make sure that you're not going to evaluate me, right? There's not an evaluation going on. You're not going to take notes from everything I say and then say, oh, Amirita, what's going on? Like, no. 
No, definitely not. It's not like a test by any means. It's really just like a nice way to check in with one another and catch up on how I know that coaches going. may take notes, right? But that's for your yeah. to remember. Exactly. And so if you notice that your coach is typing away, don't panic and think, oh my goodness, have I said something wrong? Like we always make notes and during the call and it's actually so that we can send you a follow-up email after the call to summarize everything we would spoken about, really put into to words those goals and steps that you're planning to take. And so all of our coaches will make notes, but it's really just for you your benefit again, so we can send that detailed follow-up email. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it's a moment for you, right? So I think you should really take it from that perspective, like the opportunity uh, to have an interesting conversation with someone. And, and also it's really exciting to, you know, have practice having conversation, right? With someone you don't know and, and perhaps someone you can learn something from because um, perhaps if you're, um, I'm answering to myself, right? If my internship is super great, maybe I can take the opportunity to have this call and discover someone, discover a new person, right? And ask, hey, you're my coach. Um, tell me a little bit about you, you know? <laughs> Why do you like coaching? I don't know, so many things I would love to ask to a coach, right? Uh, so I think that's really uh, important. Um, okay, someone is asking if our calls are be are recorded. Usually, they are not recorded. If they are, it's because we want uh, to record it for the coach, so the coach can uh, take a look at the call and say, "Okay, this was a good call. How can I improve?" If it is recorded, it will be um, mainly for the coach, and you know the process of. Uh, improving for the coach because we are also human beings and professionals and we also we always need to learn and, and improve so if they happen to be recorded they it will be uh, only for the coach you know so the coach can reflect on their practice uh, but it won't usually it won't be recorded yeah and just to add to that if we are going to record we always just check with you at, at the start of the call to see if you're comfortable with that um well we have a really interesting question here what kind of books um a coach read to motivate others um well i have many books um i love everything related to in emotional intelligence um personal development professional development sophie do you have a book that you like um, yeah i I'm the same as you. I'm always reading. Um, usually I have one fiction and one nonfiction book on the go. So at the moment I'm reading uh, the 5am club because I'm a big fan of having like a good structured daily routine. And not to say everybody has to get up at 5am, like especially if you're not a morning person, but just this idea of having like an hour in the morning to kind of prepare yourself for the day, like plan ahead maybe getting some movement and exercise time. And so I've really enjoyed reading this book and all the tips that it offers. Um, but yeah, there's a whole host of like all these um, really great books for coaches. Yeah, you just described, I don't know if you can see them here. I have two books exactly like you described. One, uh, personal development and a, another fiction, you know? Yeah. Um, so this is um, some with fiction stories. And this is the one that I, have started, which is emotional agility, um, how to recognize our emotions, uh, how to deal with our emotions. Uh, emotional intelligence is a key skill for life and also for professional life. That's the um, key difference. Uh, you may be, uh, you may have really, really developed hard skills like hard knowledge but if your emotional intelligence mm, is a bit low, then it's going to be difficult for you to succeed and go to the next step. So emotional intelligence is super important and we can always discuss about that during our coaching calls. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do we have any other question before we um, finish our very interesting webinar on coaching? 
Mm, someone says, I completed my internship a week ago. I still haven't taken my coaching call. Can I still uh, have it? Yeah, definitely. You can have it. And even if it passed, let's say, um, let's say you had a very successful internship and you wanted to relax and then you disconnect from the whole world for a week, 10 days, and then you said, oh, I forgot to take my coaching call. Well, you can, okay? Uh, if it's if um, it's been two or three weeks after you finish your call, um, you can take your coaching call. And if you're not sure, then write to your IEM and say, hey, you know, I think I forgot to take my coaching call. Can I take it, okay? Um, because really, uh, these are, um, this inclusion is great. You are going to see it yourself, how taking a coaching call uh, will definitely boost your internship experience and will get you have clarity for the future. So I will encourage you to take both coaching calls. Um, and okay, so I think we're getting uh, to the end of our um call. I wanted to suggest a really nice um, TED talk I found uh, like when I was preparing for this webinar, uh, which precisely uh, speaks about how your unique uh, life story may be uh, the crucial element to finding a job. So I will send um, the link. Um, do I have it here? Okay, I'm going to copy the link and, and I'm going to share it um, when I send the uh, email and I can definitely invite you to um, write to internship coach if you have any doubts about coaching or you can definitely reach out to your IEM. Um, if we don't have any more questions, then we can just finish our webinar. What do you think? Yeah, I just wanted to um, clarify, Merta, for anybody who joined late and wanted the link, will they be sent that through an email? Well, thanks, sorry. And um, anybody who might have joined our meeting late and they want the link to rewatch our presentation, uh, yeah, okay. how will they access that? Yeah, we're going to send a follow-up email. Um, usually, um, when we send the next invitation for the next webinar, then we send the uh, previous uh, webinar. So you can always take a look when you receive the invitation for a new webinar. You can check that uh, there also you have um, the link for the past webinar. And also we share the link for our global Slack chats every Tuesday. So uh, be uh, aware that you have the link there to join uh, the, the chat. Okay, so thank you everyone uh, for having uh, been here with us today. It was uh, really nice meeting you all. I uh, hope you all book your coaching calls when you receive the email and I wish you a really enriching experience uh, in training with us. So have a great day and thank you Sophie and Sierra for being here. Yeah, thanks for joining everyone. Bye, have a great day. Bye.